Now, in the question number 111, we have to see net increase in the population of rat. So, you know that for finding the increase in the population, the formula which is utilized that is number of births plus number of immigrants minus number of deaths and the number of emigrants, right? So, in this case, uh, what is natality? Natality is 250. So, number of the births, they are 250. Emigration, yes. Immigration is 20. Right. Now, coming to the number of the deaths. Mortality is 240. And number of emigrants, they are 30. So, this comes out to be 270 minus 270. So, it means the net increase in the population size here it is 0. It means the right option is this one. For this question, the right answer is option number 3. So, now let us do the question number 112 here. Now, the next question, question number 112. Parts A, B, C, D of the human eye are shown in the diagram and we have to select the option which shows the correct identification along with the function and the characteristic. So now first option B, blind spot, that is right because optic nerve is coming out but it has no rods and cones so characteristic is wrong. C, aqueous humor, here rather it is not clear, it could be cornea. Third one, D, choroid. D is outer one that is sclera, A retina the inner one that is retina and contains the photoreceptor cells that is rods and cones. So our correct choice is 4 and that is how the answer would be 4. Now moving on to the next question 113. Now in this which of the following are correctly matched with respect to taxonomic classification? Now in this first choice, centipede, millipede, spider and scorpion mentioned in insecta. Now out of this, they are arthropods but they are not classified with insecta. Insecta have only three pairs of legs. Then second one, housefly, butterfly, sessifly and silverfish classified in insecta. This is right. These all of them are insects and again in the rest of the two choices, they are incorrect. So our answer is 2. Let's move on to the next question, 114. Taking up question 114. Now this is a schematic plan of the blood circulation in humans with four labels given A, B, C, D and we have to identify the correct label and the functions. Now we can see that here it is pulmonary circulation and on the other side it is systemic circulation. So in this case the blood vessel which is coming out from the heart and going into the lungs that is the pulmonary artery and coming back to the heart is the pulmonary vein. Now out of these options we will find that from the systemic that means from the body part which is returning to the right side of the heart to the right auricle that C is vena cava which is taking blood from the body parts to the right auricle and here the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 45 mm of mercury. So our correct choice is 2 and thus the answer is 2. Let's move on to the next question that is 115. Now this is a simple question the most abundant intracellular cation that means within the cells which cation is most abundant and it is without any doubt it is potassium ions. So our answer is option 3. So let's move on to the next question 116.